Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using Acrobat 11 Pro, you can create PDF portfolios. A PDF portfolio is a customizable collection of files. A portfolio can contain many different types of files, not just PDF documents. While many users might choose to simply merge outside documents into a single standard PDF file, a PDF portfolio offers several advantages by keeping individual files separate. Files can be added to or removed from a PDF portfolio easily. Files do not need to be converted into PDF format to add them to a portfolio. When working with a PDF portfolio, you can edit individual documents without changing the other files within the portfolio. Additionally, Acrobat 11 Pro makes it easy to work with files within a portfolio. Non-PDF files can be edited in their native applications from within a portfolio, and changes are automatically saved to the portfolio. The component files of a PDF portfolio can be sorted by customizable categories, and a search feature allows you to search an entire portfolio, including non-PDF documents. To create a PDF portfolio, select File, roll down to the Create command, and then choose PDF Portfolio from the side menu that appears from the menu bar to open the Create PDF Portfolio dialog box. Choose a visual layout for the portfolio by clicking one of the preset styles shown. You can import a custom layout saved as an NAV file if you have one that has been previously saved to your computer by clicking the Import Custom Layout button to launch an open dialog box which you can use to select the NAV file and then click the open button to apply it. Now after selecting a style to apply to the PDF portfolio click the add files button in the create PDF portfolio dialog box to open the add files dialog box. Select the initial files to include in the portfolio and then click the Open button. Don't worry if some of the files to include are located in different folders within your computer. After creating the portfolio, you can import additional files if needed. After Acrobat finishes creating the portfolio, notice that the PDF window changes to display PDF portfolio options. Instead of the Task and Comment pane, the Workspace features Layout and Details panes. At that point, you can choose File from the menu bar, and then choose the Save Portfolio command to save the new PDF portfolio. Now the view that is initially shown after creating a PDF portfolio file is of the edit view of the layout view, which also shows the layout pane within the task pane. This allows you to edit the content of the PDF portfolio immediately after creating the file. Note that you can click the preview button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the PDF portfolio window to switch to the normal layout view if desired. This is the view that most users will see when they open the PDF portfolio file. We will discuss the views of a PDF portfolio file in the next lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.